Caught in the Act on Fox Carolina is sponsored by IHC Security. Your peace of mind is our top priority. Well, a Texas man says it was like something out of a movie. He was forced to kill that wild hog. The animal was caught on camera going on a rampage on his property. It broke a fish pond and caused significant damage to the back door. The hog charged the homeowners when they went outside. The couple managed to get back inside their home, but the wild hog wasn't going anywhere. Look at that. The husband decided he had to do something. He got his crossbow out and had a good aim. He shot and killed that wild boar. Well, terrifying moments for passengers inside this Uber, not your everyday Uber ride. Apparently, the driver wanted to chase another driver. The couple says that a vehicle hit their Uber, so their Uber driver decided he was going to chase after that person and track him down. Well, thankfully, the passengers only had some minor bumps and bruises. Uber has suspended that driver from the app while they investigate. A suspect is facing a new charge for body slamming a police officer. This happened in Ohio, and you could see it was caught on that dash cam video. It started when police were called for a disturbance. The officer was trying to arrest the suspect when he got picked up and thrown to the ground. The officer is okay, and the suspect is charged with assault. Closer to home now, the Anderson County Sheriff's Office is looking for this guy. Deputies say he used a stolen winning lottery ticket at the Stop a Minute on Shockley Ferry Road. The ticket was stolen from another Stop a Minute location in Belton, so if you recognize him, call the Anderson County Sheriff's Office. And Greenville police are trying to track down this pair of suspects. Officers say a man's wallet was stolen from his car, and these two used his credit cards at several stores. So if you recognize them, call Greenville police. And in Georgia, the Spalding County Sheriff's Office says this man stole an entire donation box, raising money for local agencies. They say he went to a firehouse subs spot and stole the money meant for their foundation, which works to provide life-saving equipment for local firefighters. And get this, the Sheriff's Office says he stole the money after a good Samaritan paid for his sub. That guy mm -hmm. is still on the run.